Let's go ahead and call this meeting to order. This is a Livingston Parish Council meeting. Um, today being Thursday, October the 12th, 2023, 6 o'clock p.m. at a regular scheduled meeting. All public notices have been sent out. And so let's get started with uh, an invocation. Uh, what's that? Okay, well, let's do the roll call first then. We'll skip down to item number four and do the roll call. <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, you want to go ahead and call the roll, Ms. Carolyn? Mr. Talbert, Mr. Keene? Here. Mr. Mack? Here. Mr. DeLatte? Mr. Here. McMorris? Here. Ms. Sandifer? Here. Here. Mr. Ard? Mr. Wascom? Here. Mr. Girlinghouse? Here. Here. Uh, that's okay. <laughs> Damn, All right. Um, the invocation today was help Mr. Jeff Ard. I know he's going to be just a couple minutes late. But he asked that Mr. Tracy Girlinghouse, uh, yes. I think, did you have something to say? Or no, no, that was that. He, he, he's he, at a meeting in Livingston, like to, and, but he said that's the end of that first, and he's going to be right over here. Okay. Let's bow your heads. Heavenly Father, thank you for this beautiful day that you've given us. Uh, thank you for the, the just the, the weather that we were having and then the beautiful skies and just the, the, hopefully the heat is behind us, Lord, and we want to thank you for that. Lord, I want to thank for the, I want to pray for the people of the Ukraine and uh, the nation of Israel as they go through these very, very trying times, Lord. And Lord, I just pray that you watch over us and watch over everyone as they go home tonight and, and that everyone here just appreciates the freedoms that we have um, because we have many and we are a blessed nation, Lord, and I just want to sh give you thanks for that, Lord. In your name we pray, amen. Amen. Uh, Mr. Mark Harrell, would you lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance, please? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, <clears throat> item five, just might want to just double check your cell phones to make sure they doesn't mm. uh, mm -hmm. shoot off too quick. Um, next thing is item six, there will be a public input. If there is a specific item that comes up that you want to speak on, please just raise your hand. We'll be more than happy to call upon you so we can get that done. Um, try to keep your comments, you know, to three minutes if, if also. Um, item seven is presentations. I have a proclamation I'd like to read, if Mr. DeLatt's okay with that. Yes. Um, <clears throat> whereas Dr. Warren D. Richards' own proclamation of family is evident through his wife, Jacqueline Tillman, and three children, and whereas Dr. Warren D. Richard has served as the pastor of Galilee Missionary Baptist Church of Springfield, Louisiana, for 30 years, at a progressive missionary Baptist church of Geismar, Louisiana for 27 years. Whereas Dr. Richard D. Warren received his Bachelor of Science in Psychology and Political Science from Southern University, Baton Rouge, Louisiana Masters and Doctorate in Theology from the Lord's Outreach International School of Theology, Lake Charles, Louisiana, PhD in Divinity from the Lord's Outreach. And whereas Dr. Warren D. Richard currently serves as the Chancellor of Nehemiah School of Theology in Springfield and Geismar, Louisiana. Therefore, be it known and remembered that I, and I'm using the word Leighton Ricks here, Parish President and the Livingston Parish Council Governing Authority of the Parish of Livingston, State of Louisiana, represented by one, Jeff R., two, Gary Talbot, <coughs> three, Maurice Scooter Keene, four, John Wascom, five, Aaron Sandifer, six, Gerald McMars, seven, Tracy Gerlinghouse, eight, Randy DeLatt, and nine, Shane Mack, do commemorate a lifetime of devotion and service to ministry. Do hereby proclaim Sunday, October 22nd, 2023, as Dr. Warren D. Richard Day throughout the parish of Livingston. Signed, John Wascom, Council Chairman and Parish President Leighton Riggs. Would you make sure that he gets Thank a copy you. of this? Thank you, John, appreciate it. I'd like to need the motion or anything. That's no, good. That's, okay. that's good fine. Deal. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. And I pronounced it Richard, but I don't know if it's Richard or Richard. 
So sure. It's really short. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's still sure. pretty close. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Lamp. Um, item eight is adopt minutes September 28th, 2023, regular meeting of the Livingston Parish Council. Motion. Motion by Mr. Gurlinghouse to adopt the minutes. Is there a second? Yes, so. Second by Mr. Shane Mack. Any discussion? All in favor say yes. 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 Abstain. Vote on your iPads, please. And that motion should carry up. Oh, one abstain. All right. That was Miss Sandifer. Okay. Um, item nine, introduction of an ordinance. This is to split precincts 5, 21, 24C, and establish boundaries. Uh, you want to read this by title, Miss Caroline? We've, we've uh, merged precincts at the last council meeting, but this is anytime precincts get too many voters in one precinct, they're required to split them up. And so it's just to split them up so there's not too many. If you get over 3,000, I think, or 2,000, you have to split it. So go ahead and read by title. Um, this is going to be LP Ordinance 23-36, an ordinance to create new voting precincts by dividing an existing precinct into two precincts. The public hearing will be on October 26th at 6 o'clock. All right. So this will be an introduction. Let's go ahead and maybe call, make a, is there a motion to introduce? Motion, motion by Mr. Gurlinghouse, second sure. by Mr. Mack. Any discussion? All in favor say yes. 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 And I believe that motion will carry. Vote on that. All right. All right. Um, item 10, Parish President Reports. Number 11, adopt a resolution, author, item 11A, adopt a resolution authorizing the Parish President to execute the contract between the Livingston Parish Council and Southern Underground of Louisiana, the responsible low bidder for the ARPA funded town of Killian, Austin Sweetwater line replacement. Straight. Uh, Street. Mr. Harold, do you want to talk about this one? I just want to say that it did come in over budget on what we allocated. However, the uh, town of Kellyan has sent a letter saying that they'll cover any overages, so we're still good <laughs> and we'd like to move forward with this. I'll make that motion, Mr. Motion Chairman. by Mr. DeLatte, seconded by Mr. Mack. Yes, sir. All right. Kellyan. We're going to fix that water down there. Is there any more discussion? None being. All in favor say yes. 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 All right, that motion carries. Item 11B, adopt a resolution authorizing the parish president to execute the contract between the Livingston Parish Council and Arbor Construction LLC, the responsible low bidder for the ARPA-funded South Woodcrest Drive drainage improvements project. Uh, and I'd like to say that's basically the same thing. It's come in over budget. Denver Springs has obligated and sent a letter saying that they'll cover the overages. And I, I spoke with the mayor. He was very excited. Thank you for your hard work on that, Mr. Harrell. I appreciate it. Uh, motion by Mr. King. Second. Second by Mr. Gurlinghouse. Any discussion? All in favor say yes. Yes. That motion carries, I do believe. Item C, adopt a resolution authorizing the parish president to execute the contract between Livingston Parish Council and M&J Civil Construction, LLC, the responsible low bidder for the ARPA-funded Jason Drive, also located in the... City of Denham Springs. Yes, sir, and they're obligated to cover the overage. In District 4. So I need a motion, motion. By, by Mr. Gerlinghouse, second, second by Mr. Meg Morris on this one. <clears throat> Any discussion? All in favor say yes. 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 Any opposed? And that motion carries as well. Thank you all so much. Mr. Harold, you want to leave or you want to stick around a little bit? Or? I mean, I didn't want to. <laughs> Uh, you want to go to item 12? Yeah. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to go to item 12. <laughs> All right. I'm um, trying to scoot on out of here. <laughs> this would be a public hearing adoption of LP ordinance number 23 to acquire movable property pursuant to the hazard mitigation grant program. Uh, it needs to be read by title. Ms. Caroline, would you read uh, item 12, the public, for the adoption of ordinance number 2335? This is LP. Ordinance 23-35, an ordinance to acquire immovable property for the Parish of Livingston pursuant of the Hazard Mitigation Grant Program Project Number FEMA-4277-DR-LA-0131-Livingston Parish. That's in my district. Motion. I second. <laughs> All right. Motion by Mr. Gurlinghouse. Second by Mr. DeLatte. For the Didn't we have a agenda that also? Yes. We're That's coming up next. Well, actually... Yes, Mr. But what happens is, um, it says right here two nine four zero zero, but 
it was published. It, it's supposed to say two nine three zero zero. Two nine three zero zero. Everything was published in the newspaper, and everything was correct except the last agenda. So we're just clarifying. So okay. everything was published correctly. Okay. But so okay. let's go ahead and housekeeping. We've we've read the ordinance. Uh, and we're calling for the public hearing, and that's going to be when? This is the public hearing for oh, this This one. is the public hearing and the adoption. So I oh, oh, hereby declare a public hearing open. Is anyone here to speak for or against this specific ordinance? None being, close the public hearing, and we had a motion, I think, I mean. by Mr. Gurlinghouse, second by Mr. McMorris, to accept it, and that'll be with the correct address of 49300. Is that correct? Yes. All right. You want to Right. Two nine three zero zero South Andy Drive. Yes. All in favor, say yes. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. Now we'll pick up item addendum A one. This is an artist to uh, acquire movable property for the parish of Livingston, pursuant to the hazard mitigation grant program. Do you want to read this one by title? So this is going to be proposed ordinance 23-37, an ordinance to acquire immovable property for the parish of Livingston pursuant to the hazard mitigation grant program project number FEMA-4277-DR-LA-0131 Livingston Parish. This one's 29400 South Ann Drive. All right. Motion. And the public hearing will be October 26th at Second. 6 o'clock. Motion by Mr. Gurlinghouse, seconded by Mr. Keene. Any discussion? All in favor say yes. 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 All right. The, that ordinance is now introduced and will be brought up at the next 26. council meeting. Yeah. And I might be excused. Pardon? May I be excused? Uh, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hate for you to leave, Mr. Harold, because you know. Of all the meetings you want to run out of, <laughs> it seems to be going pretty smooth. Yes, yeah, it's going too smooth. Let me get out here while it's going smooth. You should have been at the last Thank one. Thank you so Thank you, Mark. Mark. Thank you. Uh, have a good weekend. You might make a note. Uh, he, I think when he does his thing, it'll. Mr. Art is present. Okay. On his iPad, it'll pop up. <clears throat> Jeff, we're picking up at item 13. So, okay. <clears throat> all right. Um, item 13 adopt a resolution to authorize a waiver of section 125 176 definitions to allow a third address on a 2.2 acre tract for Kathleen Haino, uh, Mr. Max District. Yeah, that's true. So this is on Catholic Hall Road. They already have three trailers on the property. One of them nobody's living in. Um, to my understanding, they're going to get rid of that uh, trailer that's unlivable and kind of clean the property up. They're going to. They need a third address. They're going to put another mobile home there and live in that one. This new one. Um, I just want to make sure everybody knows this should be contingent upon them signing an affidavit saying that this is only for family members. This is not for rental property. And I'd like to make the motion that we approve uh, that waiver based on those conditions. I second. Motion by Mr. Mack, second by Mr. DeLatt. Is there any discussion? None be it. All in favor say yes. 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 Any opposed? <clears throat> I think that motion carries unanimous. Item 14, adopt a resolution authorize the waiver of section 12537 minor subdivision to allow seven lots of servitude located off Oliver Wheat Road. This is in Mr. DeLatt's district. Mr. Ross. Oh, okay. I'll give us your name and address, please. And Ross Kinchin, 19144 Florida Boulevard, Albany, Louisiana, 70711. Good afternoon, Council. Uh, so this is going to be, um, there's actually one correction I think we need to, to make on the agenda. It's going to be eight lots total with the lots that we're adding. So the waiver is going to be for the three additional ones, so the limit's five. Um, I wanted to just point out that the average lot size in this project is 4.8 acres, so they are very large lots. Um, there's already new homes on the front part. This is just kind of like a second part of this project that they're working on. So, um, so we have to get the waiver in order to for them to to put the extra lots on the back side of this property. I'd like to make a motion to grant the waiver. Motion by Mr. Delat, second by Mr. <coughs> Gerald McMorris. Is there a discussion? That's for for a total of eight lots. Mm -hmm. Correct. So change the seven to eight. All right. Uh, none being, all in favor say yes. Yes. And that motion, any opposed? None. That motion carries.
Thank you. Thank you, sir. Item 15, adopt a resolution to authorize the waiver of section 125-37 for minor subdivisions for the number of lots on the servitude located off Bailey Lane for Kathy Thibodeau. This is Mr. Talbert's district. I haven't spoken with him. Do you? Yeah, he called me yesterday or today and he said he's in favor of it and he'd ask for us to pass it. So a motion? Yeah, I'll make a motion. I'll I'll motion second. by Mr. King, no. second by Mr. Garlinghouse. No. Uh, any discussion? All in favor say yes. 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 Uh, that motion carried. Item 16. Request for installation of culverts at the railroad tracks of Lloyd Stewart Road and Dan Pearson Road, Mr. DeLatte. <clears throat> this was a project that uh, that we had been working on, I think, for four or more years. But the uh, issue seems to be, I see some paperwork here that hasn't been filled out, and I think it has to be filled out by engineers. So I want to remove it from the agenda if oh, I can get that. That's fine. Care. No problem. I, that, move, that item will be removed and pulled back at a later time. Item 17, adopt a resolution to authorize a temporary permit for two years to place electricity for a travel trailer for Jessica Stewart. This was in Mr. Mack's district. You want to explain this one? Yeah, so they have some property, and they um, want to live in a travel trailer while they're saving money, and they're going to build a house there in the future, um, and they need this. So I'd like to make the motion to grant that waiver. Motion by Mr. Mack. I'll second. Second by Mr. Garlinghouse. All right. Any discussion? I just have a question. How did they give you a date timeline? Is it in the next? As soon as possible. Oh, so it's okay. I'm just clarifying that because well, I get a lot of requests years, for this, and I needed years, that so clarification. Two years, Thank you, That's Mr. Okay. Mack. All right, we had a motion. You got that motion and second already by Shane and Tracy. All in favor, say uh, yes. 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 Any Only opposed? I don't yeah, think so. Who's no, not? Wait, wait, wait. Uh, I think that motion carries Thank unanimous. Um, item 18 board reappointments. Uh, a fire protection district number 12. Mr. R, did you have a board appointment for this yes, one? Yes, we actually have a couple of them. Um, so we have um, Mr. Wayne. Wayne Westbrook, will be one. Uh, Ms. Lee McDonald and Mr. Jesse Glasscock. They're getting added to the board? They're going to be added to the board. You get those names, Ms. Caroline? And then is item 18AI assigned bank signatories? Is that a separate? So we, we have to do this first, and then once then we, we actually have them established on the board, then they can actually go to the bank. And uh, what it is, we have some oh, checks that the so mayor can go cash. Yeah, so so, so we, a motion to appoint those three the, people yes. to the uh, fire, fire district, district number 12. 12. I can second, second that. By Mr. Ard, second by Mr. Shane Mack. Is there any discussion? All in favor say yes. 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 And that motion carries. And then now they, they can take that, that resolution and go get their signatures. Right. That's okay. all they need. Committee reports, finance committee. I don't think they have anything, huh, Shane? I mean, Randy. No, that, Randy, I'm sorry. Yeah, yes. I did the meeting last. I think yes. we discussed the last one. Basically, we got the same thing. Yeah, yeah. we got the, the budget. Jennifer, the update. Yeah, that's right. Ordinance committee. That was it, Shane. We didn't have one, did we? Or we have not had one in the recent weeks. But the plan is to have one on October 24th at 6 p.m. Okay. If everybody's good with that. I think we have uh, an election we have, between now and then, don't we? So we do. Okay, just making it's sure. Funny. A lot, of, lot may change. A lot may Who change knows? by that time. Okay, well, just, <laughs> lots going to change. Six p.m. Uh, we don't know. We'll All right, so six p.m. on the twenty fourth. That's correct. Six p.m. October twenty fourth. That's right. All right. Everybody, put that in your calendar. Six p.m. October twenty fourth. Uh, bunch. Pardon? Get started. <laughs> Ms. Carroll, yeah. you got that as well. Mm -hmm. uh, next, the most one of the most important things, uh, parish attorney reports. Mr. Moody. It's important enough to say I have no report. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. I Mr. Like McMarsh, did you have something uh, to say? or I, Okay, go ahead. It's up. Go ahead. Councilman comments. Yeah, Council go comment. ahead. Before I adjourn, go ahead. Yes. So well, I want to thank everybody that came out for our expo uh, a couple weekends ago. You didn't come, man. You missed up with us, and it was a, it was a great turnout. Uh, a lot of people came. We couldn't have another person in our uh, gym that we afraid something. So good. thank all That's you guys. That's a good thing. Thanks for coming. We enjoyed that day. Had a great speaker. 
and uh, it was a blessing. Also, we had a revival in our church this week. One of my best friends got saved this week. Right. Outstanding. Uh, just wonderful news. So, Congratulations. Just a shout out to what's moving in our parish right now. You see all the negativity that's going on around everybody, anybody and everybody over this election is going on. Remember, put God in your heart first. You put him first, remember, you're going to go a long ways in life. Well said, Gerald. So, this thing I want to do is say good luck to all the men and women this Saturday. Go vote. Go for the person that's qualified for these positions. I wish you the best of luck. I know how nervous you can be if you're married. I know how nervous your wife and husband's going to be if right. he's going to win. So good luck to all you ladies and gentlemen from the, from the parish. Thank, thank you, Mr. Thank you, Jim Morris. Thank you, guys. Mr. Scooter? Just ask people to please go vote. It's going to be a beautiful day. No excuses, y'all. Do your civic duty and go vote. Oh, I this one. I'm sorry. Oh, go back. Um, I'm sorry. So uh, we, we do have a, a, a number two. It's going to be for the churches to keep them open during a pandemic. Please vote for that because, oh, yeah, because yeah. We, want, we want to be able to keep our parish open and the Good government not tell us what to do with our, with our churches and our, our government, government here in Livingston Parish. So yeah. vote for it. Tracy, good. Yeah, yeah, I would, I would be, I would like to add some roads to the roads overlay if that's possible. I don't know if anyone's opposed to that. We can put it on there, but next time, but you know, is there one okay? I'm okay. Go ahead, just I'm okay. Put them on. Okay. To add it, do we have to lift the agenda to add it? What's the right way to do it? You want? You think you want to lift the agenda to add that, Chris? Have to add, lift the agenda. It's not a huge deal. I can do it. I can do it at the next meeting. Right. You know, um, yeah, just put it on the yeah. ladies and we'll all sure. add her. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. It's fine. Right. I mean, we'll it's just... not like they're going to rush. If I thought they were going to rush out there Monday <laughs> to do it, oh, yeah, I'd be like, no, we lift in the agenda. <laughs> <laughs> but if y'all do that, they'd be like, we're on it Monday. <laughs> okay. Uh, if you get that passed tonight, we'll be there tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, yeah, I do kind of mind. Let's go ahead and no, do it. That kind of stroke. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. That was pretty good. <laughs> So that'll be on the agenda for the next mm -hmm. one. Mr. Randy? I make a motion that we adjourn. Oh, we got a concert. <laughs> 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 Retract that just a second. Ms. Sanford, do you have anything no, to start? No. I'm good. good. Mr. Mack? All right. All right. Now uh, you can do I it. Think make a Mr. motion Randy, I will. I, 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 thank, thank you, man. Appreciate you. I also like to say, I, I, wanted, I wanted to echo what he said. Look, it's go out. Everybody needs to go vote. It's like one of the few freedoms we have left. You should exercise it, you know. Um, you work well, but, do. but you know, right. the more people that show up to vote, the stronger our democracy is. Well, right. You so, know, motion by Mr. Delat to adjourn. Second by Mr. Scooter King. Any discussion? All in favor, say yes. Yes. That motion is, is passes. I hereby declare this meeting adjourned.